Tinobu's government is not working. The Tinobu's government is a waste of available space, to be honest with you. And you know the people I talk more about. For me, it's not only about the Tinobu I let talk more about. It is the people like the one Oga Koko in the in the comment section. They say the strength of every nation lies in its people. When you see people who are charlatans like that, hailing government when they know they are doing the wrong thing, that's when you will know that Nigeria has lost its way. There was a time before where one of my, my students asked me back in Nigeria, that, sir, what if I come and just give you 50,000? And I, as I said, I said, I don't collect free money. I don't take free money. If anybody walks up to me and asks me, gives me maybe 100,000, ask you, which kind of service will I give to you? What are the services I'm supposed to do for you before? So I don't get take free money. But Nigerian youth are, are used to taking free money. Somebody walks to you and gives you a million naira, and you feel that, ah, you collect and they run. You see somebody's money in the floor, you collect and they run. That is why we can be bought and sold. Somebody just proposed now, we go for riots, we go for this, go for that. Have you ever thought about the, 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 the protest of ignoring these people? Ignoring means somebody calls you to hail him and the rest, and you don't hail him and you don't collect his money. Do you know the, the, the identity to be on his image? I have seen it before. I will say it in the 2015, uh, 2015 election. I went to vote. I went there to vote. I know how they came with money to even convince me. I looked at them. I said, if you don't come off, I will fight you. Get out. I don't want your money. Now, so all those mama and the rest, they look at me. I went there, cast my vote, and left. They were looking at me as if I came from space. Why must you be bought and sold because of small money? Why? Did they do this rubbish now because they know that some people on social media and some people are hailing them? That's just the truth. Even if you let these 200 million people in Nigeria now refuse to hail them, you will see how it will affect them. Did they do all those rubbish because there are some people who are useless who are hailing them? That's just the truth. Is it the rule of law we don't have? Is it what, what which way one call, which way no, in, 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 one, in one call? So Nigeria is just somehow, I will say first, the Nigerian people. To be honest with you, I want to thank the obedience, really. I'll thank the obedience. I always say that obedience are not only Peter B's followers. There are those people who believe that we should have it better in this country. To be honest with you, obedience are not Peter B's followers, like let's say 100% quote unquote. No. They just want things to be better. So I want to thank them. When I don't they try, when they do well, when I just keep on, they go. Keep on moving ahead. But for those who are waste of space, who are there, anything the government do, like, as I said, demolishing landmark, you know, do an environmental impact assessment. How the thing will work? You went and scattered somebody's investment only for you to go just on a few kilometers. Hey, we are sorry. Who now pays for that thing? And yet you tell me from abroad, or maybe you tell one, one uh, investor, come and invest. How you want to take convince me? To Man, that, that, that is such... How you want to take doing? A case where you do something bad and I cannot take you to court and win the case when I know that I am right.